Okay, in this tutorial here, we're going to show you the benefits and advantages that ACE Translator has over any other conversion tool when it comes to converting DXF and AutoCAD files. As an engineer, you've probably come across DXF and AutoCAD files and been asked to work with them. And it's pretty much a nightmare, not just for engineers, but for manufacturers in general. The most common problem that people have dealing with DXF files is DXF files are usually unfilled and just a bunch of lines. Here's a sample of a DXF file, what it would look like in the CAD software. Here I'm just using a popular free tool here. And as you see, if I click this, it's just a bunch of individual lines. This happens to be a particular, just a demo sample of a, of a layout, but it's unconnected lines or they're connected, but they're not really joined. Um, and you've got circles and basically just a bunch of outlines. So in a sense, how am I supposed to create a mask from this? If I use just a common DXF tool that you find out there in the industry, your results are gonna be something like this. Just the same exact thing, just a bunch of lines, which is, this is not acceptable. Uh, so when you do have other conversion tools that say, oh, we can convert DXF, sure, it can bring in the DXF, but it can't make it usable. And that's the whole purpose of ACE Translator. So let's show you how ACE Translator will handle this type of file. First thing you'll do is you'll configure. In this case, we'll say that we want to convert a DXF to a Gerber file, which is very common. So DXF, and we'll select Gerber. The next thing I do is I'll let me go ahead and select that particular file, the DXF. In this case, it's called DEmbed Test. As you'll see here, it's pretty simple. It's only one layer on it. But what, D what ACE does that no other conversion tool does is it gives you a wide range of power and functionality. The first thing you always want to do with a DXF file is make sure you know the units. In this case, it will be inch. A DXF file does not tell you the units. So if you're not aware, use a free viewer such as DraftSite or AutoCAD or whatever else you have to be able to determine the extents so that you know the, the, uh, the dimension so you can pretty much tell the units. The next thing you do here is nice and ace is you simply select what type of data are you bringing in. In this case, it would be like a microwave type of circuit. What you can do here is, and this is not even necessary to be honest with you, let's just go over each step. First thing is import. This tells you you want to import this layer zero. The next check box here is fill, which means that I want to fill any of the outline. So any of this data that's outlined, I want to be able to fill it. Same with circles, because again, DXF is just the outlines of everything. So you're telling the software for layer zero, I want everything filled. The next option is for wide polyline polylines, you can choose how the endpoints look and how it behaves. There's none of them in this case. The next one is flash. What that means again is if it finds any if it finds any circles or donuts, it will create a Gerber flash because we're dealing with Gerber output in this case. And here are the important ones that you don't find with other tools, join and de-embed. To be able to fill a boundary, it needs to be joined and formed to one continuous boundary. So I'm gonna check that. The other important feature is de-embed. De-embed means being able to determine what's in a, like a complex polygon, what's an island and what's a hole. That means basically what's dark and what's clear. Again, looking at the CAD, it's almost impossible to tell what should be dark or what should be clear. But using the ACE translator, it's able to easily figure this out for you. So I'll simply check that. There's also a wide variety of other types of options, such as I can choose my arc resolutions and things that exceedingly make ACE extremely powerful if you ever have to work with importing a DXF file. You can review blocks if there were any. There's none in this case. You can also create merged layers. So in this case, I'll just hit next. Now, again, just like always, I select the output format I like for my Gerbers. And as you see here, just like that, ACE is imported in filled continuous joined boundaries. Now, again, looking at a competitive or other type of, of conversion tool, it just gives you this. You can't use that. But with ACE, not only was it smart enough to fill in all the areas, it uses the auto detect and the de-embedding to know what's dark and what's clear. Now I'm ready to be able to export this out. And again, when it comes to conversion tools, this is not something an engineer wants to deal with every day, but when you do have to work with this, you wanna keep it simple. And that's why ACE is a big advantage. So let me finish the conversion. Here I can choose a name and I'll just choose, wow, that's easy.gerber for my name. 
I can choose if I want negative mirror. I even can tell ACE to extract drill data from this if that so was necessary. Simply hit next, choose the folder where I want to export my data. That's it. I exported out a Gerber file now that will be filled, that will have all the capabilities of being able to be manufactured. So again, as a user, I can have this filled usable data instead of this, which leaves you stuck in ground one. ACE is definitely the way to go, and we appreciate your time and interest reviewing this tutorial. Thank you.